Traveling and trail running for me kind of grew together. To me, they're, they're very similar things. One person that really inspired me to travel at the, from the very beginning was, was my own mother. At 19, I, I dropped out of college for a couple of years and, and traveled down to South America, and that kind of started uh, what I'd consider to be uh, the current epic of my life, which is um, life on the road, more or less. Going from Colorado to San Francisco, uh, Colorado where I was born and raised, and San Francisco where I've called home for the past couple of years. It's a, a journey that I've made a few times over the past, uh, you know, 10, 15 years, even before that with my mom and, and my siblings. And uh, it's a trip that never gets old. In America, we're very fortunate to have all of these open spaces to us. But I think that these open spaces and this wild land can really exist anywhere for anybody if you're willing to go out and look for it. Take the simplest, the simplest sport. All you need is a is a pair of shoes, and 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 you're off and running. And you know the the adventures are really endless at that point. It's not all about going faster. It's not all about winning races or doing well in races. It's it's about, you know, what, what running means to me. What do we take away from travels, you know, 10, 20 years later? It's the stories that we have to tell, and I think, uh, you know, at the end of our lives, that's all we've got. All you've got is, is your stories. <laughs>